This is an awesome time to uh, celebrate 30 years of community action. Uh, this is, of course, one of the largest events that includes so many of the younger residents of Guam. That is one of the most gratifying and satisfying things to see. Uh, and of course, in the big picture, we look to teach and to train and to upskill our young people to uh, be the stewards of Guam and all of our natural beauty. We all know about the International Coastal Cleanup. We are celebrating a, 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 ten, a 30 year landmark in terms of uh, having this activity. And we have 113 miles of coastal uh, line, but uh, only uh, not very many or maybe less than a third of that is our beaches. Just here in Tumon, it's only a 1.3 mile uh, span of beaches. And, Beaches uh, are very important to our culture. Uh, in history and ancestry, uh, many of our ancestors uh, erected their uh, residence or their place of living on the beaches. We've been playing with some sand here uh, on site at the PIC. This has been really great. We've gone out and tested, kind of seen the sand out for this weekend. Uh, I would say that uh, we don't know. We're, I think it's going to be a great challenge for us. I think if we're, we're prize fighters, we're going to go out there and we're going to do the best that we can uh, and try to see what we can create. Uh, one of the things that we know that we will do is definitely try to push the limits of the sand and see where, where it can go and what we can do with it. And, and uh, you know, uh, what we do is going to be, you know, what we do, but I think for me, uh, the thing I'm really most excited about, rather than our sculpture, is the eight other competitors out there, those teams that are out there, because that's really where you, that's the people that are going to move up and kind of find this as a passion. Just uh, getting involved and being on the beach, um, yeah, and just trying out the sand is it's kind of unknown to us, but we're going to try our best.